Hello, hello, students. How are you doing? This is Mrs. Teixeira, and we are here today to correct some exercises that I ask you to do on our book Material Anglo Língua Inglesa. So please grab it and open it on page 43. Yes? In our page 42 and 43, we have our unit 5. In our unit 5, we are talking about this king, Henry VIII. Have you ever heard about him? Henry VIII was a king with lots of wives. He had six wives, could you believe? <laughs> Yes, he is famous because of this. Yes, because he had lots of wives. And he, he needed to change something in the church. Because in the church, you know that they didn't. It's not correct to have more than one wife. So, let's start our unit. In our unit, exercise 1, page 43, 43, galera, what do you know about these people in here? What do you know about the British monarchy? Who is the, the queen? Who is the queen, guys? Or the king? You know that the queen is Elizabeth. Yes, the Queen Elizabeth. And what's the name of her husband? Her husband is Philip. Is Philip. You are going to write what do you know. Who is this man in here? It is Prince Charles. He's gonna be Charles. He's gonna be the next king so when queen elizabeth dies yes when she will die they said that she is immortal <laughs> he's going to be the king so here we have kate maybe you know because kate is in media william yes harry that that married with the actress if you like to talk about the monarchy, the British family, there is a TV series called The Crown on Netflix. I really like England, uh, United Kingdom, so I have already watched it. If you want, you can try. Yes? Look at the picture above. Can you name them? It's about you guys. Can you, do you know her name? She's Kate. What is his name? William. This is Charles. She is Camilla. Queen Elizabeth. Prince Harry. Her husband Philip. Okay? Write the names that you know. Discuss the question. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Discuss the question below with your classmate. What do you know about Henry VIII? I told you that he is famous because he had many wives. Yes. Many wives. He was also um he re he changed the church in England, remember? So he reformed the church in England. So he creates the Anglican Anglican Church. Então, a maioria dos ingleses são anglicanos, né? And he was the first king to divorce. 
he was the first king to divorce. Mm -hmm. And look at the cartoon. What does it say about Henry? Kate, Anne, Jane, Anne, Katie, again, again. What he's talking about? He's talking about his calling the names of his wife. Check. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are so many that he couldn't remember their names. So, what does the cartoon say about Henry? That he had several, many wives. Okay, now we are going to page number 44. Guys, you can pause the video and copy. You know it, yes? I'm going to correct it really fast, but you can pause and continue later. In our page uh, 44, we are going to read about the king angry. He is the part of Kazoo history class presentation. Henry the Eighth was born on June twenty eighth, fourteen ninety one, and became the second Tudor king of England when he was eighteen years old. Tem um seriado também no Netflix chamado The Tudors. Okay, he had six wives. They were Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anne of Claves, Catherine Howard, Catherine Part. He divorced two of this. Então, ele se divorciou de duas delas. One died, one outlived Henry, and the other one, the other two had their heads cut off. Então, uma né, viveu com Henry, e duas delas tiveram a cabeça cut off. Yes, cortar a cabecinha delas. Being Catherine Howard, one of them. A Catherine Howard foi uma das que foi decapitada. One of the reasons that Henry VIII had so many wives was that he was desperate for a son to be the next king after he died. Então, por que ele tinha tantas mulheres? Ele estava desesperado. Ele queria um filho porque esse filho seria o próximo rei. Né? Eventually, he only had three surviving children, and two of these were girls, Mary and Elizabeth. Então, ele é, só teve três crianças, né? Só três filhos sobreviveram, e desses três filhos, duas eram meninas. His son, his only son, and heir to the throne after his death was Edward. Então, o único filho que ele tinha e o herdeiro para o trono foi o Edward. The range of Henry VIII saw the Reformation come to England. The Reformation was a movement that questioned the authority of the Pope and the Roman Catholic Church. Então, esse movimento, né, esse, esse é, movimento de reformação, ele foi um movimento que a população começou, começou a questionar a autoridade do Papa, né? da Igreja Católica. While this movement was happening throughout Europe, Henry had an argument with the Pope because he had refused to grant Henry a divorce from Catherine of Aragon. Então, nesse momento que a população estava toda questionando a Igreja Católica, a autoridade do Papa, o Henry foi lá bater um papo com ele e falou que queria se divorciar. Mas o Papa se recusou a divorciar, né? A fazer o divórcio do Henry. Without the divorce, he could not remarry and have son with a new wife. Então, se ele não pudesse se divorciar, ele não poderia recasar, né? Casar novamente e ter um filho com uma outra mulher. So Henry is split from the Roman Catholic Church and declared himself head of the English or Protestant Church. Então ele é, se separou, né? Ele criou um movimento que se separou da Igreja Católica. Então ele não é, cumpriria mais as ordens do Papa. 
e se declarou como o chefe da igreja na Inglaterra. Então, até hoje, a chefe da igreja né, são os reis ou as rainhas da Inglaterra. As had, he could now grant himself a divorce. Ele sendo o chefe da igreja na Inglaterra, ele poderia se dar o divórcio. Without having to ask the Pope, sem pedir para o Papa. So, he also confiscate Catholic land in England. This was called the dissolution of the monasteries. Então, ele também confiscou essas as terras né, que pertenciam à Igreja Católica na Inglaterra, confiscou todas elas, ficou com todas essas terras para ele, né, para a Inglaterra, para o Império. Né? <risos> e esse movimento foi chamado de Dissolution of the Monasteries. Né? Why did Henry marry so many times? Por que, que ele casou tantas vezes? Guys, do you remember? He wanted... To have a son. Ele queria um filho, por isso que ele casou tantas vezes. How did he manage to divorce his first wife? Então, ele queria se divorciar da esposa. O que, que ele fez? He... Tá aqui, olha lá, galera. He split off. Yes? He... Here... He split off, sorry, split from the Roman Catholic Church. Okay, oops, sorry. Então, ele se mandou da Igreja Católica. Catherine... Catherine Howard, one of his wife, divorced him, has beheaded or outlived him. A Catherine Howard, ela foi decapitada. Mm -hmm, que triste, né? Don't ask me why. Okay. And when Henry married Catherine of Aragon, his first wife, o que aconteceu com a primeira esposa quando ele se casou com ela? He was Catholic. Ele pertencia à Igreja Católica. E o que que foi o Reformation? What happened? Onde aconteceu? The Reformation happened all over the war, uh, all over the Europe. Então, foram aí que surgiram as outras religiões, né? Foi nesse período que as pessoas começaram a questionar essa questão da Igreja Católica e aí foram surgindo as outras religiões. Ok? Write questions for the answer. He was born on June 28th. 1944. What can I ask? Quando ele nasceu? How can I ask this question, guys? When was he born? Quando ele nasceu? He had six wives. Ele teve seis esposas. What can I ask? How many wives did he have? Quantas esposas ele teve? He was Henry the eighth only son. Então, quem foi o único? Ou quem foi Edward? O Edward foi o único filho do rei, porque ele teve três filhos que sobreviveram, né? E duas eram meninas. So, who was Edward? Who was Edward? God. Because the Pope didn't want Henry to divorce his first wife. Por que que o Henry se mandou da Igreja Católica? Porque o Papa não queria, né? Ok? 
Catholic Church. Okay. Crazy, isn't it, guys? <laughs> it's interesting. It's an interesting story. Okay. That's it for today. All right. The listening exercise we are not going to do. Remember that you can always pause the video to correct our exercise. And if you have time, if you are interested in Henry VIII, you can check, you can watch some series that I told you that there is a series called The Tudors that is talking about... Um, the kings in England, we have the crown that is talking specific about Queen Elizabeth, and you can search on the internet and get more information about this guy.